we're going to take a look at the car and trailer category B plus E uncoupling exercise. This will happen on every car and trailer DVSA driving test. You'll be expected to uncouple and recouple to the trailer safely. The first thing is to apply the trailer part brake. Then we can lower the jockey wheel. which will start to lift the trailer whilst releasing the trailer coupling. Continuing to wind the wheel to lift the trailer and remove it from the car. Remove the electrical cable and remove the breakaway cable. quick check to make sure everything's been done before driving away. We're now going to pull the car forward and park alongside the trailer. Reversing next to the trailer, we've safely uncoupled and parked alongside. Now it's time to couple back up to the trailer by pulling in front of the trailer and reversing towards it. We're not going to reverse under the trailer completely, we're going to Pretend that this trailer is a new trailer that we haven't already had coupled to this vehicle. We're going to stop approximately one foot away and go and check the trailer before attaching it to the vehicle. The reason for the stop is to have a look to make sure the trailer height is correct and adjust it if needed. We're going to check that the electrical cables, brake cable, part brake is applied the trailer doors are shut, the general condition of the trailer, light fixings, mud guards, tyres, wheel nuts, rear door, secure, number plate is matching, no cracked lenses, all the way round, and we can see that it's safe to couple to, so now we're going to reverse the final foot. Using the in-car camera system, it's simple and easy to get this right first time by reversing the ball directly under the trailer coupling. Now it's time to attach the trailer. First thing we're going to apply is the breakaway cable. Open the coupling and start winding the jockey wheel to lower the trailer down onto the car. As you feel the click onto the car, you now need to wind the opposite way to put some pressure onto the car and show that it's definitely coupled securely. Once this has been done, which is called a check test, we can wind the jockey wheel back into the travelling position. Once secure, reapply the electrics and release the trailer part brake. Before taking the trailer on the road, we need to make sure that all lights are working by maybe looking for a reflection or asking for some assistance. We're going to check that the brake lights, side lights, fog lights and indicators are all working as they should be. We now know that the trailer is coupled safely and we're happy to take it out onto the public road.